His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued decree 34 for this year, appointing Mohammed Thamar Al Kabi as Under Secretary of Civil Aviation, transferring the Assistant Under Secretary for Posts Affairs or Ports Affairs, Yusuf Isa Bubshid, to the Assistant Under Secretary for Maritime Affairs, and appointing Badr Yusuf Hood as Assistant Under Secretary for Ports Affairs, all at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication. The Royal Court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will leave for Switzerland tomorrow on an official visit for talks with the Swiss President Johann Schneider Amman. The meeting will focus on the deep rooted and historic bilateral relations and ways to bolster them in different fields, in addition to recent regional and international developments. Well, the visit of His Majesty the King to Switzerland comes in line with the two countries' interest in consolidating bilateral ties, cooperation, which goes way back in history. More in this report. The current visit of His Majesty the King comes in line with the exchanged official visit, which contributes to centering bilateral relations and expanding political, economic, trade and investment cooperation. The two countries share the same stances of supporting international efforts to maintain global security, stability and peace. In 2014, a memorandum of understanding was signed between the two countries' foreign ministries on political consultations during the visit of State Secretary of the Swiss Federal Department of Foreign Affairs, Yves Rosier. Due to its open investment climate and being a strategic regional hub, the Kingdom of Bahrain is attractive to Swiss financial circles. In 1986, the two countries signed a civil air traffic agreement, followed in 2004 by an agreement to avoid double taxation in the era of air and maritime traffic. Bahrain is a member of the Arab-Swiss Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which works in facilitating commercial, industrial and financial relations between Switzerland and the Arab world. Swiss Bahrain Holding Company, founded in 2008, works on enhancing cooperation between the two countries in the fields of real estate, project management and investment. Swiss interest in expanding cooperation with Bahrain is reflected by BSI Bankstep, which is one of Switzerland's largest international investment banks, to upgrade its operations in Bahrain, while two other Swiss banks are considering a presence in the kingdom as a massive vote of confidence. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 30 for this year, amending certain provisions of Edict 32 of 2011 regarding the establishment of the National Committee for Unified Procurement of Medicines and Medical Supplies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with UK's Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Simon Martin, in presence of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahraini-British relations are based on historic ties between the two peoples and the shared keenness to enhance strategic partnership and cooperation in all fields. The meeting also discussed regional and international issues. The Crown Prince commended the efforts of the UK as well as other friendly and brotherly countries to ensure the security and stability of the region. For his part, the ambassador noted the excellent bilateral relations in all fields, praising the Crown Prince's support to further strengthen ties between the two countries. The commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at Isa Air Base the BDF Special Task Force participating in Operation Restore Hope in Yemen alongside the Saudi led Arab coalition in the presence of Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior BDF officers, and families of the Special Duty Force members. His Highness thanked members of the Special Task Force and their role in assuming their national responsibilities. He also praised their courage and sacrifices in restoring legitimacy in Yemen alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition.
The Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed El Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly session today and discussed the final report of the Parliamentary Investigation Commission regarding the deterioration of economic and financial conditions of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company and decided to refer the suggestions to the government. The Council also reviewed the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee regarding subsidies of services and consumer goods and decided to refer the suggestions to the government for further studies. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,106.4 points, an increase of 0.47 points above yesterday's closing level. Trading in commercial bank and services shares rose, with the services sector representing the majority 84.45% of total share value traded. And in total today, there were 19 transactions composed of 735,233 shares worth 254,928 Bahraini dinars.